Alright people, Max Alden here again and welcome to my first Elden Ring video. Uh, today I'm just going to really uh, get into the character creation, uh, see what it's like, see if I can build a decent character, uh, go through some of the classes. Um, I'm not going to spend too long at it, maybe half an hour or something like that. Because you can really get lost in these character creators and end up spending way too much time in them. So we're just going to have a look at some of these classes. Um, let's see. Vagabond, Warrior, Hero, Bandit, Astrologer. I don't know all the classes, so some of these are interesting to me. Prophet, um, Samurai, <laughs> that's, a, that's badass. There's Samurai in this. Prisoner, he looks weird. Confessor, looks like some sort of priest guy. And the wretch, basically looks like a level 1. If you want to get your ass beat, you pick the wretch. Um, Alright, I can press triangle to see what level these people are. Samurai's level 9. Um, Confessor's level 10. And yeah, the wretch looks like it's level 1 over there. Um... Prophets level 7, Astrologers level 6, I don't want to go for the highest level just because it has the highest level, I want to pick the one that looks cool to me. The Vagabond has some decent armor there and has decent stats, level 9, um, Endurance isn't as high as I would like. Um, the Warrior, or the hero, I like the look of the hero, I'm going to pick the hero, I'm going to be a female, so body type B, and I'm just going to call them, um, I don't know, uh, just going to pick a random name, Luna, Luna will do, <laughs> we're going to be Luna, we're going to be a female, we're going to be young, uh, what, keep sick, um, this Crimson Amber Medallion gives us a little bit more health. I like the idea of that early on, but after a while, that gift might not be that useful. Um, see, I, that's the thing with these sort of uh, FromSoft games. You never really know what's going to be useful later on. Because I haven't really looked into any of these. Um, Stone Sword Key, it seems like it will give you a weapon or something if you use it. But I don't know where to use it yet, so it might not be worth taking. Um, I'm really leaning towards the first item that give us a bit more health early on. Just because we could use that little bit of a boost, because I'm not really great at these games. Um, and I don't really understand what most of the others are for yet. So we'll just we'll take the Crimson Amber Medallion. Um, let's see, these are all the different body templates. I sort of want to go for like a Celtic Irish warrior looking lady. <laughs> um, Reedlander. They're familiar with the sight of blood. That sounds pretty. Oh, geez. Ooh, what is this? Drax the Destroyer race. Gr all grey or whatever. Um, you look a bit too pale. Um, I kind of like the look of this one. They look a bit like Severus Snape from this distance. With that black hair, we're going to have to change that. Um, but I like the sound of Reed Lander. Um, what voice do we want? Um, those young ones are pretty annoying, but too high pitched. The age point, I'll go for the mature first one, I think. Yeah, it sounds alright. Skin color, they kind of look alright. Um, and when you get, oh, they look a lot less like Snape now. Um, that's not a bad hairstyle, but it's a bit plain. Sort of want something a bit wilder, a bit, a bit um, more like a rough warrior kind of hairstyle. These are a bit too neat. That one's all right. Um, these are a bit. Oh, here we are. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sort of a goth look. Um, but I, also, I, if I make them ginger with ginger hair, that would look uh, kind of good. Um, that one's pretty good. That's wild hair. I like that. Look like a warrior. Um, these are nice, but they're a bit too prim. And uh, how long is this ponytail? I can't even zoom out far enough to see it. Um, let's see. Yeah, it goes down a fair bit. Um, 
The reason I normally play as a female character is they have way more hairstyles, mostly. I do like this one. <laughs> it kind of looks like a goth or something, but we're going to change the hairstyle. I want to make them ginger, I think. But, um, you give them candy floss pink hair. That might be a bit stupid, but let's just experiment a little. I'm showing off the character creator. So I'll just go through some different shades. Just let people see. Um, cause I do like, uh, I do like making purple haired characters. For if you've seen my Mass Effect video. Uh, I just really like the color purple. I don't see a purple option here. Just the sort of light pink rose, rosy kind of color. Uh, but I think we could adjust it in here to make it purple. Uh, oh, we're going about Joker here. Um, yeah, if you want, you can be the Joker, I guess. Uh, really bright green hair. Uh, turquoise, going into blue. Um, purple, yeah. I am really tempted by purple, but it kind of doesn't make sense for the setting. It would be a bit strange. Mass Effect, it's in space. Uh, you can sort of get away with people having weird colored hair, because there's like purple aliens and stuff about um but I, I think i'm gonna go for like a ginger sort of irish scottish sort of typical ginger hair ah why did i go off it none of these are really bright enough so we're gonna go in here and uh try to ginger them up as much as possible uh i think if we're using this hairstyle we're not going to really worry too much about the face uh, because, oh uh, yeah, that's the bright orange, ginger, Irish, what we want there. Um, we're not going to worry too much about working with her face, because, um, well, the hair's going to cover her face. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm liking this. Bit brighter. Okay, I think that's a decent shade now, maybe. Bit darker. Yeah, they're looking pretty decent already. So far, this is a big step up from other uh, FromSoft uh, character creators. They didn't have this much detail to them. Luster, what does that mean? Does that mean how like long our hair is? Doesn't seem to be changing. Seems to be getting a bit shinier. Is that what it means? Luster. That's actually embarrassing that I don't know what the word luster means. Um, I think it makes it shinier. We'll tone it down a bit because it's a bit too shiny. <laughs> um, the root darkness, uh, yeah, we'll have very dark roots, I guess. Um, yeah, there we go. And white hairs. Yeah, we'll give her a few white hairs, even though we selected the young option. Um, you'll never notice them because I only put her <laughs> like nine. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I like this hairstyle so far, um, uh, but we'll just have a quick look what she looks like with Ginger on the other ones. Um, yeah, that one's nice, but um, a lot of these don't really fit with sort of the rough warrior vibe I'm going with. Um, that one does, if you wanted to see her face and sort of roleplay as like a rough Celtic warrior, uh, or Norse warrior or whatever, um, that one would do as well if you wanted to see your face, but I kind of like this shabby, uh, unkempt, windswept, or whatever you want to call it, hair. We don't really need to go into any of these because her face is covered. Um, oh, we can give her a beard. <laughs> yes. Okay. Give her a bit of stubble. <laughs> Mustache. Okay, that would be funny, but I kind of want to take it a bit more serious, so... We won't give her any, we won't give her a beard this time. We'll give her a little tiny bit of stubble. Just one, just a little fine bit of stubble. Um, eyelashes, uh, I don't really need to worry about those. We'll give her, since we can see one of her eyes, we'll give her a green eye. Green eyes and red hair always stands out pretty well. Um. Yeah, dark green that really shines through there. That's kind of nice. Whoa. Yeah, this this shade, that, look, that looks pretty good. Um, can't really see her other eye. <laughs> but as long as you can see with one of them, I suppose. Pores. Um, you put up the dark circles a bit, I guess. 
can't really see what that's doing, but cosmetics, eyeliner, um, just give her a lot of dark makeup around the eyes, a lot of dark eyeshadow and stuff. Um, she's a warrior, she's not really that worried about looking amazing, but she likes some dark makeup around her eyes for a bit of intimidation factor, I guess. <laughs> Eyeshadow um, cheeks will make her cheeks a bit redder, I think. Um, maybe this rosy complexion. Oh, cheeks are green now. That's not great. Yeah, we'll go for this rosy sort of pink red one. Lipstick. Um, we'll make it a bit brighter, I guess. Um, Give her sort of reddish, not too red, because we still want her to be a bit of a warrior. Um, the dark, dark burgundy is sort of nice, but um, purple is kind of good too. Uh, a white one looks like she's sort of sick, so we'll just use this sort of reddish, pinky, rosy one. Um, and yeah, I'm liking the look of this character so far, even though you can't really see most of their face. Um, tattoo and eye patch. Um, if we give her an eye patch, she's not going to be see able to see at all. <laughs> um, so where are these ta are, are these face tattoos? I guess they must be. Um, to have to select one before it shows up. All right, we can't really see that. It must be on her forehead or something. Not on her back or anything. Anyway. Um, yeah. Let's see, um, yeah, I can sort of see them on her forehead there, or on a nose, but, um, maybe we can change the position of it so it's, like, underneath her eye, we can give her those, we can give her teardrops or something underneath her eye, um, yeah, we can reposition it, so we'll bring that down, um, we can give her, like, a war paint stripe, across her eyes or across her nose that would be cool or we just give her a little mustache <laughs> um i like the idea of a war stripe but it's not the right color i sort of want that like blue sort of like scottish pagan blue <laughs> or pictish blue i don't know if the irish painted themselves blue but some scots did back in the day that could be a cool uh, sort of bit of war paint for her, if we put it over her nose. Um, or we give her these, I think these were meant to be teardrops. I'm just experimenting with, with a few of these things just to show it off to people. Um, let's see, what's a good, is that a good shade of blue? Let's try to move it into position, do we see? Mm, looks a bit purplish. Um, let's move it over, whoop, wrong way, over under her eye. Um, I do like the idea of her having some sort of face paint or something. Or this is a tattoo, uh, actually. Um, does add a little bit of character to her face. I'm not a huge fan of it at the moment. Um, looks okay, I think it's the shade of blue, it looks a bit purplish. Oh, it doesn't look like, um, sort of, you know, your Braveheart blue. Um, we could go for, yeah, this is the war stripe, or whatever I was going to call it, across her nose, that's kind of cool. That one's kind of cool, the messy one. Um, but again, it's not the right shade of blue, really. We put it, uh, across her nose there. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Just reposition it a little. Uh, bring it up her face. Uh, and we can make it wider, go further across her face. Um, just see what it looks like with different hairstyles. Oh, it's kind of going under her left eye there. Uh, it's not quite right, the right color, and I've not got it in the right position, but I'm liking the idea. Of her having that war stripe there. Maybe I need to change the colour to like blood red. If anyone's ever played uh, Dragon Age 2. The character of Hawk. 
had like a red uh, stripe across their face. It was kind of cool looking. So I might, I might, I might keep this, but I'll change the color in a moment. Is it? There's not. It's not really the right shade of blue. Just rotate a little, straighten it up, right? Make it a bit wider. Is that a bit too large? Hmm. But I am liking this idea of like a Celtic Irish warrior character. Um. It is all based on Norse mythology, but I'm going to insert uh, some Celtic vibes into my heart. <laughs> uh, let's see, skin features. Um, uh, still not liking that color. Um, darker blue, it's a bit too dark. Uh, just not really getting the right shade of blue here. Um, Yeah, I might, uh, we'll go in here and see, uh, yeah, it's all too dark, or maybe, maybe it's, maybe it's just my eyes and I'm not seeing it right, but give her, like, a dark, that looks kind of cool, the dark one, um, but what if, what if we make it red, like, deep red, uh, that's a bit too pinkish, look at, uh, that's getting, oh, that's too red, that's getting close to Hawk from Dragon Age. Um, yeah, dark sort of burgundy red. We want it to look sort of like it's been there a while. So we don't want it too bright. That looks, that's looking the part now, I guess. Ah, oh, why did it change? Why didn't I save it? Uh, how do we get that temporary red back? Sorry, I'm still a bit confused by the controls. Uh, how did I get up to those colors? Did I just put up on the d-pad? Alright, there we go. <laughs> that's simple. Yeah, that's the, that's sort of the perfect color there. Um, what about these eye patches? <laughs> yeah, now you can't see it all. Blindfold. That, that actually looks kind of cool. She looks like the Keeper from Dark Souls 3. Kind of now the Fire Keeper. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of like having the blindfold. It's gonna make no sense, but um, yeah, I'm liking this look. Uh, where's my hairstyle? I like the wild one. Um, she already couldn't see very well, so might as well give her a blindfold at the same time. Yeah, these other hairstyles are nice, but they're just, they're not wild enough for my character. See, I think this is her here. Blindfolded, has a red war stripe, uh, doesn't really take care of her hair. Uh, can't see what she's doing at all, but she can somehow still sense her enemies coming towards her. Um, I don't really think there's anything else I need to do to the character. Like, we can go into some of the facial things, but her face is sort of, it sort of looks alright to me. Like in a default state, um, I guess I could make her mouth a bit uh, bigger. Um, just tweak a few little things, let people see the options that are here. Um, give her a bit of a chin, strong chin, <laughs> so she can take punches. Uh, give her a bit of a pointed chin. Um, Chin length, yeah, make it a bit bigger. Not too big, but yeah, it's just looking pretty cool now. Chin size, yeah, put it up a bit. And I don't really want to touch any of the other options because they all look pretty decent, and also most of them are hidden by her hair and the blindfold. So I think that's just about everything. That is my character now. Um, again, we can. We can mess around with her head, um, oh the chest, uh, yeah let's give her, uh, let's uh, just put this up to uh, maximum uh, for no reason, uh, nah just kidding, um, don't want her to look too ridiculous, give her, give her that level, that looks decent, uh, don't really need, we'll give her some strong arms, she's a warrior, she needs some strength, um, Make her kind of look like Samus from uh, Metroid. 
strong set of legs too. Body hair. Yeah, she's gonna be pretty hairy. Sure, why not? <laughs> uh, don't wanna make it too crazy. We'll stop in the middle somewhere. Just a little bit below the halfway, I think. And the body hair, ginger, of course. And muscular. Yeah, we'll make her muscular. She's a warrior. Yeah, she's a badass. Okay. That's looking pretty decent. Um, anything else? I'm going to save this character just in case I ever want to use them again. And we're going to call it the uh, Irish Warrior class. Her name's Luna. She's a hero. Um, she's level 7. 14 Vigor, 9 Mind, 12 Endurance, 16 Strength, 9 Dexterity, 7 Intelligence, 8 Faith, and 11 Arcane. And she does look like a proper sort of Celtic warrior there. Or maybe that's more Viking y, because I am aware of this game set from Norse mythology. But yeah, thanks for watching, people. Uh, I think we've made a pretty decent character there, and I can't wait to get into the game uh, properly. Let me know what your class and your character is going to be in the comments down below. Have you bought Elden Ring? Uh, are you planning to buy it? And just uh, what's your plan for your character? I'd really like to read that. Alright people, see you again next time with some more Elden Ring videos.